Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley Estes. For those that don't know me, I blog at themountainviewcottage.net where I share farmhouse inspired DIY decor and organization videos. Welcome back to my introduction to furniture painting series. this particular tutorial. The purpose of today's video is to show you how to paint a piece of furniture using milk paint but getting a solid finish. Something that's not chippy or overly chippy um, but a very solid paint finish. You may be thinking that there's probably other paint mediums that are easier to get a solid finish with such as chalk paint but hear me out. Milk paint is so beautiful. It has a lot of variance in the color itself because it's a powder that you mix yourself, you get a lot of depth to the paint. And there's a really cool texture to it as well, which gives you kind of a different feel and texture than chalk paint, which is why you may want to paint a piece of furniture with milk paint and get a solid finish versus a chippier finish, which is what milk paint is typically known for. Today I'm going to show you how to get a solid finish and I have already prepped this dresser. If you missed the video on how I prepped this, I will link that in the playlist below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've already gone ahead and mixed up a batch of milk paint. I am using Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint, which is my favorite, and this is a color I've never used. It's called Arabesque, and it's supposed to be a soft ballet slipper light pink. This dresser is for my daughter, and that was her request. So I've already mixed up some milk paint, and then I've also let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. And this just helps the milk paint get a little bit thicker. And I find that you get a much better consistency with your paint when you let it sit after you initially mix it. This is just milk paint and water. I use a quarter cup of milk paint and about a quarter cup of water. So I like to kind of use equal parts water and milk paint when I mix. Now, here is the key to getting that solid finish. We are going to be using Miss Mustard Seeds Bonding Agent, and it's going to help the milk paint really adhere to this dresser in every single area. So even on some of these areas that are not sanded down as much, it's really going to cling to those areas better and it's not going to chip. The directions say to mix equal parts bonding agent to your pre-mixed milk paint. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to mix it really well, and then we are going to just pour it in. So this is going to make basically double my batch of paint. Okay, now I'm going to mix this together, and I'm going to start painting. If you'd like to know more about the tools that I use when I'm painting furniture, I have a video dedicated to that that I will also have linked in the playlist. So I'm just going to start by applying it to the top of my dresser and kind of see how it applies. This is a pink color, so I'm a little bit hesitant about how many coats this is going to take to paint. If you've ever painted with pinks or reds, you know firsthand just how hard they are to get full coverage. So this is going to be a task in itself. <laughs> you can already see kind of what I was telling you. Some of this streaking where the reds are poking through because it's really just such a vibrant mixture of paint when you're using milk paint. So you get to see all the different colors that go in to create the final product. And sometimes they kind of streak as you're painting, which I think is kind of cool and I personally like. If you don't like it, you can always just really paint over it and kind of work it out. We're definitely gonna have a very sheer first coat. That is perfectly okay. Just make sure you paint with the wood grain. You're gonna get a funky application if you're painting against the wood grain. It's also not gonna be as smooth. I'm gonna also try and work out those brush strokes as I go. Subsequent coats will also help with that. 
and then just pay attention to your edges so that they're not bleeding over. First layer really is the most important layer. And once you get that first layer on, it will make all the difference if you do it right. The application of the first coat was so sheer that a lot of it has already dried. So I'm just gonna kind of quickly go over it and do a second coat. Here is coat one on the top. It is very sheer, but that's okay. We will build and I expected that from a pink anyway. off camera because I didn't want to waste the batch of paint that I had already mixed up um, but it was getting too late to continue filming after that point once my camera had um, cooled off it was getting dark outside so it's a new day I wanted to update you on the coverage of this dresser and this pink color um, I mentioned earlier that pinks and reds could be really hard to get opaque and I have been pleasantly surprised that this color is really covering beautifully um, I pretty much have a full coverage finish on the top. Um, I may, may, maybe not add one more coat of paint to the top. Um, I also painted most of the side. It just needs a couple touches up of additional paint on the side. And then I also painted three of the four drawers. I wanted to show you this other drawer so you could see kind of how many layers it needed. Um, so I didn't paint that yesterday, but I'm getting a very full coverage appearance with the paint um, and this pink, and it's not taking a ton of paint to do that, which is something I was really worried was gonna be the case, and that I would end up needing a second bag of paint. Um, as it stands now, more than half the dresser is painted, and I still have half a bag, maybe more, of paint. This color is amazing. It's so beautiful. It's more of a mauve pink. Um, it's described as a ballet slipper pink, but I don't think it's quite that bright. It's more of, like I said, a mauve pink with some yellow, more neutral undertones, but I absolutely love it. It is going to be so beautiful in my girls' room, so I'm going to get painting. I just added the bonding agent to my paint, as I did last night. You want to make sure that you add the bonding agent to each subsequent coat. You don't want to just do it on the base coat, you want to do it on every layer. Something to keep in mind as you are painting. Make sure you have enough bonding agent to make that happen. Um, um, you can see that I have about uh, three quarters of a bottle left, so it's actually going pretty far.
really full coverage finish that we got with the milk paint is really the bonding agent and the way that you prep your piece of furniture. If you missed my prep video, you can see that in the playlist that I'll link below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this option for painting with milk paint. I absolutely love milk paint. Really is such an incredible medium and it has such a unique texture that's different from other paints, even from chalk paint, which is why I love using it. But not every piece you want to have a chippy finish for, so this is a great alternative. Um, in my next video, I will distress and finish this piece with a top coat, and we will also be applying some really beautiful finishes, such as some beautiful knobs and some wrapping paper into the drawers to make them extra special. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and follow my channel for more videos just like this one.